An important X factor in this presidential race, undecided voters. Last time around, at about this time, 8% of all voters were undecided. In 2016, it's 13%. What's more significant and also different this year is the profile of your typical undecided voter. Who is the typical undecided voter? He or she's most likely to be living in the suburbs, and nearly half of all undecideds are Republican-leaning voters. That's indicated by their preference for a Republican-led Congress. Compare that to a quarter of undecideds who want a Democratic-led Congress. In 2012, the undecideds were more evenly divided on the Congress question. We also know the undecideds, compared to 2012, are more likely to be white college degree holders. And it's not that they don't care about the election, around half have a high interest in it. So here's what this appears to be telling us. A significant number of Republican-leaning white suburbanites who would in most years presumably be decided at this point, decided in favor of the Republican presidential nominee, are still mulling their options. They're reluctant to vote for Donald Trump. Nearly 80% have a negative view of him. They're equally uninspired by the idea of voting for Hillary Clinton. Some of them are planning to pick one of the third-party candidates, even though they know that neither of them is likely to win any states. So that could be the functional equivalent of not voting in the presidential race. There's the option of skipping the presidential section of the ballot and just voting for House, Senate, and other down-ballot contests. And then there's just sitting out the election. That's the nightmare scenario for Republicans, because by not voting, they could decide the fate of the Senate, maybe the House and other state and local offices nationwide in the Democrats' favor. That's the short answer.